Is Levi Anzarike officially on notice? Well, let's take a look. The Detroit Lions earlier today has officially signed Christian Covington. Came uh, over from the LA Chargers this earlier today. Did make a video earlier. Probably link it up here. Now, the Detroit Lions currently have Ali McNeil, Isaiah Bugs, Broderick Martin, a third round pick in this past draft a couple weeks ago. Now, Christian Covington. They also went in undrafted free agency and signed Corey Durden, Chris Smith, Benito Jones, and also they have guys that can rotate inside the defensive line in John Kaminsky, Romeo Okwara, Josh Pascal, and Charles Harris. Now, that officially makes it 11 guys that I've just mentioned, and we didn't even mention Levi Anzarike. Now, Levi is six foot three, 295 pounds. He is 25 years old out of Washington. He was a part of the rookie class of Brad Holmes in his tender here. So his first season as a Lions general manager, and he selected Levi in the second round, pick number 41. Now, Levi has only played in 16 games, all in his rookie season. He did only miss one game his rookie season. But Levi has 35 tackles, 15 were solo, 20 assisted, one sack, two pass deflects, three and a half stuffs for one stuffed yard, and one kick blocked. Now, taking a look a little bit at his contract, I mean, Pre-June 1st, I don't think he gets cut. So anytime from now till June 1st, I think he's relatively safe. Now, and I, I do think that he could be in rotation for, you know, training camp and preseason, you know. But this is where it gets interesting. Okay, he's going to be a free agent regardless in 2025. So he got this year and next year, and then he goes and becomes an unrestricted free agent. So if he's cut during the 53-man roster cut, the Detroit Lions will only take a hit of $821,617 in dead cap space. The Detroit Lions will also save $1.4 million. This is, like I said, all post-June 1st. So... If he's on the roster come June 1st and he gets cut, say, June the 2nd, the Detroit Lions save themselves $1.4 million. And they have to eat $821,617. So what do we always say? Best ability is availability. And with Levi, that's been yet to be desired. Again, he plays... In 16 out of a possible 17 games his rookie year. Went down the last game of the season. And he has not yet returned. And that's a full year off from football. And it was a serious injury. It was a back injury. So is Levi officially on the on the clock? Is his time on notice? Based off of all this information, again, like I said, 11 guys already on the roster, not even named Levi Anzarike. And I'll quickly roll it off again. Ali McNeil, Isaiah Bugs, Broderick Martin, Christian Covington, Corey Durden, Chris Smith, Benito Jones, John Kaminsky, Romeo Okawara, Romeo Okawara, Josh Pascal, Charles Harris, all can kind of rotate in with those guys. So, there's 11 guys, and again, he's going to be a free agent in 2025. But with the cap saving and only a slight dead cap, it almost begs to differ. Like, you got already a lot of depth. And, you know, Christian Covington is a very good player. He, Him and Isaiah Bugs. now shout out to uh, some of you that did watch the video of Christian Covington. Some of you said, hey, look, 
him and Isaiah Bugs can rotate in, keeping each other fresh. You know, and if Broderick comes along, him and Lee McNeil could kind of rotate in and out, keeping those two fresh. So you got right there four guys that can kind of rotate in and out, keeping each other fresh, where you're constantly putting pressure on the opposing offensive linemen and putting pressure on that quarterback. So is Levi officially on notice? I'm going to make a bold prediction. I think he gets cut, you know, a second round, 41st overall pick. I think he gets cut. Again, going back to best ability is availability. And I do wish Levi well. I mean, for one, off the field, get well. You know, health is always going to be at the top. But after that, you know, I hope you do bounce back onto your feet and, you know, you could continue your career. Like I said, I love his, I love what he brought coming out of college, but the transition to the NFL has just not been there. And, you know, sometimes you just got to cut ties. Um, I hope that he can prove me wrong, but he has a limited amount of time. He literally has training camp and preseason to prove it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear what your thoughts are. And with that being said, y'all already know what to do. I ain't got to say it. We are on the road to 600 subscribers with the massive goal of 700 to end the month of May. Hopefully we can get there. We are one away from 600 and 101 away from the goal of May. So with that being said, definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video because grit don't quit one pride, baby. Peace.